All right, we're on the air. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do a prayer for the Trump administration, for the Trump, uh, uh, this is for the Trump legal team. Father God, we ask that uh, you protect these, these, these attorneys who are doing this, uh, who are um, testimonies, the witnesses are coming forward, just giving love and strength and encouragement and just keep them safe. We ask that prayers for the Trump administration to keep them safe and uh, the, don't worry about the attacks. Don't worry about what the, what the liberal fake news media is doing, the angry mob media is doing. Um, just pray for this. Just pray for that they will come to their senses and knowing that uh, Trump is the legal president of the United States and just guide them, give them the strength and love through your heart. We ask this in, and we ask this in the sweet name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank, isn't that cool? How many of our broadcasters will do that in the air? How many of them? You won't find this anywhere. You won't do this. You won't. You won't find this any. You won't find this any for any news network outlet at all anymore, Bobby. You won't find it. You cannot. Only us. We're the only ones now that are that are not conspiracy theories. We're going to talk about the highlights. What Mayor Rudy Giuliani say uh, says. About this, uh, about this um, voting machines that's going on. That's all public information now. That's on WhiteHouse.gov, by the way. It's on WhiteHouse.gov. The voting machines. We're going to talk about that right now. Now, the voting machines that we're talking about is they're they were handmade in China, built in China, funded by the money that got from George Soros, Bill Gates, and the Clinton Foundation put this money into these machines that were in Venezuela, that were in uh, 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 El Salvador, and also in Cuba. Is that right, Bobby? Yeah, it helped uh, Chavez get elected. Yeah, it helped Chavez get elected. They exactly. They could rig them. Yep, that's right. It helped Chavez and Venezuela to win the election. And the same problem here. That's four countries, by the way. Not just... Now, I'm not talking about one incident. I'm talking about four countries, the Clinton R's, the United States. Well, it's the Dominion program that they can go in and they can they can uh, utilize that program to change votes, just, you know, to get rid of votes. Right. I mean, uh, Mayor Giuliani, uh, you know, went through many of the things that uh, they saw uh, was happening in, happening in Michigan and Pennsylvania right. and Georgia and and uh, where these votes were changed, manipulated, uh, they would trash them. Uh, mm -hmm. And then there was a lot of uh, fake, you know, or votes that came in. When they, they said when they, because the Dominion program could do all these things, but they didn't realize the amount of people that were actually going to vote for Trump. Right. And it so overwhelmed the system. That's why unprecedented that right. they stopped the voting count at like 11 o'clock at night right. in several states because yeah. they, couldn't, they couldn't keep up with the uh, with the amount of votes that were actually coming in for Trump. Right. And they knew that if they didn't stop the bleeding at that point and start changing the way they were being tabulated, and that's when a whole lot of votes, they said, came in in trucks in trash cans and in files and in this and that, and they started counting them and they doubled you know, they had uh, how they talked about they have uh, sworn witness statements where they were affidavits, yep. The ballots through they were only marked for Biden. They mm -hmm. were no down ballot uh, uh, people that were on the ballots and how they were uh, running through the machine three, you know, two and three times so they could make up the vote count that they were uh, missing for Biden. And so, I mean, I think that, uh, well, like they said, I think in Georgia, there was, I, I can't remember the number, it was a high number, like 60,000 uh, ballots that were only marked with, for Biden. And yep. they said, in, in Trump's case, there was 800. And they said, that's just, that, that doesn't happen, you know. And so, uh, it's it fraud in so many different directions with, with uh, the, the mail-in ballots that couldn't be, you know, how they kicked the, the, uh, Republican observers out of the room. Right. And all this fraud started coming up. And, uh, you know, that's that's just not called for. It's unconstitutional. Right. It's, uh, you know, 
I, well, I don't know what to say. I want, well, here's what we're going to say about this because here's, we got 12 points here. One is uh, postmark ballots not allowed, uh, allowing days after the fact where voting, for voting mail in ballots were, should be mailed in, but they, they allowed three days extras in Pennsylvania, okay? That's, that, that's, that, that's, that's, that is fraud, number one. Number two, voter fraud registration in 16 states. Remember, he talked about that. 16 states right. this happened to. Voter fraud stuffing the ballots in nine states, okay? Then we got voter fraud changing the ballots to the name from Trump to Biden on the voting machines, okay? That's another problem. Also, remember, how many people, uh, how many, uh, uh, there's been several hundred thousand people who who were um, born 250 years ago that voted in this election in 16 states? How is that possible? Removing wa removing poll watchers from the election polls that's illegal. How many states has happened? Why is why is allow this to happen? How many states has happened to? Nine states. Okay. Why? How did this happen? How does this happen? How does it, how do they allow this to happen? That's my question. Okay, I'm asking questions here. I'm not speculation. Now, Georgia election chief uh, abuse of mishandling votes as abuse of fraud allegations election stolen from the President Trump. That's in Georgia. That happened in Georgia. Where Giuliani talked about that. Seven so far. Voting machines not working, having honest elections, not having honest elections. In 14 states. How is this possible? I don't know. Again, I'm asking the questions here. Uh, not matching signatures on vote on voter ballots. That's number nine. Number ten, voter voter fraud, a uh, voter address not matching on registered ballots in Nevada. That's another problem. It also happened. To, ha, this happened in Virginia too as well. He talked about that. Remember? So, uh, poll workers walking off the job. During the election, remember they came. We talked about that. They came off. They they remember you said what happened at eleven o'clock. They shut it down, and then through two or three o'clock, they came back in again. How does that happen? How that ha how does that allow that to happen? Again, uh, again, uh, 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 Georgia election uh, uh, found three thousand ballots yesterday. Okay, two th twenty eight hundred yesterday. Uh, uh, that was. Last night again with, with, with Kaylee, but Ka Caitlin, I just uh, no, Kaylee, Kaylee, yes, Kaylee, yeah, Kaylee, Kaylee, not Caitlin, yeah, Kaylee. Um, Kaylee, remember she said Sean Handy three thousand, three thousand and nine, uh, three thousand and thirty nine votes were 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 um, were uh, were this reappeared somehow, and then later that then earlier that day it was twenty eight hundred. So how did they get through? 3,000 to 2,800. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's Tuesday. This is on Tuesday in Georgia. Again, 2,500 ballots showed up. Monday. 40, Monday was 2,900 ballots showed up on Monday. Sunday, 4,300 ballots showed up. So, given these numbers I'm just telling you about, that's, that's enough to turn an election over for Donald Trump, isn't it not? You know, the the, the uh, you know they got to present this stuff in front of the court. It's yeah. Gonna, you know they're gonna want to. It's all it public information. Supreme Court. What I'm doing is all public info. People can look at this. It's all public info. It can look as they can look at daily dailycard.com. You can go there. You can go on at Sean Hannity. Rush Limbaugh has it. The EIB Network has it. Um, the WhitehouseGov has it. The um the, Donald Trump Jr. has it. Oh, and by the way, I want to let you know uh, that Kaylee is now again got flagged for Twitter again, and so did President Trump this morning. They both got flagged. Uh, say that again. I didn't catch part of that. Uh, Kaylee got flagged on Twitter. Donald Trump, oh, President no, Trump, no, got no, flagged no. on Twitter for his tweets about voter fraud. Uh, that's ridiculous. You know. I've left, or I haven't left there, but I'm I'm uh, I'm getting involved in some other sites uh, yeah. that I would encourage people to look at. Uh, well, tell us the sites are. Go ahead, get, get, do a plug. Parlor is one. Parlor okay. is one. 
uh, that, that I've joined here recently. Uh, I've heard of MeWe. I haven't checked that one out. And MeWe is okay. I I did that one. And MeWe is okay. Oh, it's, it's just not. It's not. It's not. It's not as clear as Facebook. I mean, it's, it, it, they're still near to tweak it out. They're still new, but they'll get there. They'll get there. Right. Uh, someone uh, sent me an invitation to another one today, something about the USA, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, okay. There's I know what that several, is. Well, my point is there's several different sites that, that are coming up yeah. that you can get off Facebook, you can get off Twitter, you can get off these sites that are definitely... Uh, blocking uh, you know good conservative folks and uh, you can get on something that is actually more representative of the way we think and the way we should act. Uh, also I want to mention Bobby I sorry to interrupt you but I also want to mention this too as well this is really important uh, uh, Mayor Rudy Jr. I talked about Antifa Black Lives Matter the, you know these uh, the, these uh, people who are criticizing President Trump who want to harm the president they're they're allowed on social media right now. They're not being blocked. They're not being censored. But however, uh, the Trump legal team is being blocked, being censored right now on social media. I, I how is that? I mean, this needs to go. This is this is a violation of Homeland Security. They should do their job. I mean, this is a job for Homeland Security right now. Department of Justice. They need to know this. This is their job. They need to know this. This is the only network will report this this way. Learn, I'm sure, uh, it's out there. Uh, people are going to become more aware of uh, how they, yeah, how their votes were manipulated. Right. Uh, I do believe that uh, we're going to learn more about this situation as the time grows. Um, Give it a few more weeks. I mean, what's the thing that has to happen, yeah. Mark? Is that we have to uh, figure out what happened, how it happened, and not let it happen ever again. Bingo. It's Without having fair uh, elections in this country, mm -hmm. and I don't remember her name, but boy, she made a really strong statement in, in the Giuliani uh, uh, press conference today, yeah. and just about America that we can't let this happen in America ever again. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was to the point, uh, and it really uh, yeah makes makes you think about uh, how fortunate we are to live in a country where we can find it. This information. The, our felony father's yeah. got it correct. It either, he yeah, she talked about, um, and and it, and there, uh, um, uh, um, Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's definitely some things have to be changed. Mm. Uh, we hope that uh, people can get to the bottom of it and mm. work out this evil. Is what it is. It's absolutely evil. evil. Because if we can't, if we can't be assured that we have uh, uh, honest and fair elections in this country, uh, we're the la we're the last place on earth that you would expect something like this to happen. Yeah, absolutely. You don't. Something things like this didn't happen. You know, they happen in foreign, you know, other countries. You know, uh, they, they don't happen here. Right. And for, uh, for people to take advantage of whatever they took advantage of to, to try to get an advantage, uh, an illegal advantage, uh, they should be rooted out and they should be jailed for doing things like this. Any of these people that were involved in this, from the, from the people that were counting votes to the Democratic heads, if they were involved in it, they ought to be put in prison, all of them. Yeah, perjury for for um, for Joe bite me plugs. Joe bite me Biden. Remember we talked about that. Remember Rudy really Giuliani had oh, to go to jail anyway. Yeah, we know he was he was involved in a lot of uh, uh, TV he craft this in several countries like uh, Ukraine and um, China, yeah, Russia, and he was taking money. His family was taking money and putting it in his coffer somewhere. For years, uh, uh, you know, it, it's it's basically money laundering. Right. And if you or I did it, we would go to prison. That's right. 
That's correct. We would go to prison if we did this. this is exactly right. This is not conspiracy stories. This is all public information that we're talking about. This is all public info that the news media, that the, uh, the, the angry mob fake news media will not even cover right now. They won't do it. They're not going to charge this story with a 10 foot pole. Even if you ask them, they won't do it. No. It's a shame, too. Yeah, it is. The media is supposed to be our watchdogs, and they've become our enemies in this case. They've literally become our enemies. When, when uh, Trump said that uh, the media, the current media, was the enemy of, of uh, the United States, the public of right. the United People States. People got on him for saying it, but you know what? He was right. They are. They're, yeah. the, they're the enemy uh, to a fair and square uh, election to, uh, you know, a supporting uh, crooked uh, uh, politicians like Biden. Uh, you know, they're our enemy. Well, remember, like, all summer long, what do they say? Remember with the, name, the angry fake news media, they're saying all summer long, peaceful protesting. And now they're saying cowards. They call them cowards. How is that possible? Yeah, well... Hopefully, we can justify and rectify this situation. I'm afraid if we can't, that our country is literally lost. Yep. Either one or two things will happen. People will stand up and, and revolt. That's what they'll have to do to get it back. You know, that's, I think if, if they don't square and justify this, this simple action, of getting this country back in line in terms of giving it to the people and let the people decide instead of having... Yeah, don't a take away vote. illegal votes. Stop taking away our votes. And that's what they're doing. They're taking away our votes. We're taking our our our, our right to vote in, the, in this country. That's exactly what it comes down to. Yeah, pretty much. And it's a shame. It's, just, it's a crying shame. But you can't... I mean, you have to be... You know, when you get up in the morning, you gotta be able to turn on the news and believe what you're hearing. Right. And you also have to be able to go vote tomorrow or whenever it's, it's, it happens and uh, and trust that whatever you did was valid. Yeah. So we're going to...